Yo, 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 yo. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and go comment, man. And uh, this is my uh, my predictions. <laughs> this is my week four predictions. Uh, it will be the Baltimore Ravens versus the Denver Broncos. And I think this upcoming week will be an another challenging week for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, Denver Broncos is looking pretty good this season. They're 3-0. They're a hot young team, just how we're a young hot team. Um, you got, of course, you got Teddy Bridgewater's in that, in that defense. They also got man. So I'm also we breaking down. You know what can the Ravens do moving forward? And some things I was also want to point out from last week's game. And I'm all, and I just want to address what the Ravens can do moving forward as the season, as the week progress, heading heading prepare for this Sunday uh, one o'clock game. But uh, yeah, man. Um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. Anything you, any questions or any uh, anything you like to say in the comment box, feel free to do so. You're looking forward to address those and uh, give me your opinion. Go ahead and uh, drop, drop those opinions in the comment section. But yeah, man. I want to start off with Lamar, man. Lamar's got to just you know not run the ball so much, like I said in previous videos, because a lot of teams are reading that, man. You got guys like Von Miller that's back. Um, he's, pretty, he's pretty fast, man. He can get to you, so you got to watch out for that that front seven of Denver. You know, that defense is pretty sneaky, man. Don't don't come in this game thinking you're going to walk in and just think that I'm going to run the ball. You cannot do that, man. You have to you can run the ball when you when you need to, not not when you want to, man. Like I said um, in my previous videos, even before the season started, these teams getting smarter. They start to know these the schemes we running. So I think that we definitely have to uh, rely on our running game. You know, definitely involve the tight ends more. I think uh, Mark Andrews will definitely be a big factor. He was in the big factor of last week's game, and um, yeah, man, definitely the tight ends got to step up. I know we got Andrews, but I know we got um, a few weapons you can also uh, utilize as far as uh, running back position. But I might have to have them catch a few passes, you know, mix the offense so instead of, you know, rushing the ball, you know, so many times, Lamar, you don't want to focus on that. So it's games like this, you really have to be cognizant of a team that's 3-0 and that's looking to be 4-0 if we don't step up our game, you know, from last week. Not saying we did a, and I mean, we, we supposed to, it supposed to been like a 2%, like a, we supposed to been like two touchdowns against the Detroit Lions. There's no way we shouldn't have been a dog fight. I understand, um, you know, teams are hungry, they're young, and, and Detroit Lions, they're also a young team, so... Got to get credit when it's due. They, they fought a whole battle battle with us as far as the game. And um, and once again, we came up on top. You know, Justin Tucker delivering that field goal, man. And I also want to address the offensive line, too, man. Offensive line just got to do a little better job of uh, just trying to protect Lamar. I know these uh, – these defensive linemen and all these uh, these guys from the defensive side are, are pretty fast and get to a quarterback just like that. If an offensive line don't, don't take away, uh, if you don't pay attention to what's going on, try to protect the running backs. Because this this game right here, we definitely need the offensive line to step out. I know we kind of sure handed with uh, guys in out the lineup. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. You know, I don't think Ronald, Ronnie Stanley, I don't know if he's, He's 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 uh he's doubtful, so I'll just list him as that. You know, I know last week I I I think he played if I'm not even mistaken, I ain't even check him out, but I know last week he was out, you know, he didn't practice last week, so I didn't hear anything much from him since then or I didn't even check into him. But yeah, man, off the line definitely gotta step up. Um I think they've done a you know, a, a okay job. I don't think this has not been the best, you know, because Lamar definitely got hit. Could have got fumbled, you know, and that's what happened. So I'm not gonna say okay, job. You do, the offensive line has got to do a better job of just containing Lamar and just watching out for the defense because these defense are they it come at, it come at Lamar, man. For a bless, you see the cornerbacks they drop at. You see everybody else that's paying attention to Lamar because they know what Lamar can do, and you know that it's, it's so predictable that he's gonna run the ball to Matt. He's been doing this for the last three or four years in the league right now. So um. Yeah, I want to get credit. My officer line definitely love too, so I definitely want to want to involve the officer line more into my videos because that's the biggest key factor. If your officer line not good, just prepare for letting Lamar get hit up. Just getting sacked so many times like Deshaun Watson a few years ago. I don't want to see him in that situation. I don't want to see him catch an injury, or uh, because we have a you know, I mean, it's like a, a officer line that's not fully protecting Lamar. I hate to say it, but that's pretty obvious. You know, that's definitely pretty obvious. And uh, I also want to mention, man, Marquise Brown, you got to catch that ball, man. You keep on dropping passes. Like, you drop, you drop three or four passes two times, man. Like, you got to get back. That catch him out with them gloves or what. You might got to just wear some bad hands or something, man, because that, that catch ain't right, man. You just, I don't know, man. You had it, and you drop it, and you had it, and you, oh, you can't do that, man. You're supposed to be our number one guy. But uh, I'm not I'm not trying to knock nobody. I'm just trying to, you know, just 
I'm just putting on what happened last week's game against the uh, Detroit Lions. Also, like I said, again, my video I was also going to mention the receivers definitely got to step up as well. The, rec the receivers deserve some credit, you know, as far as uh, trying to trying their best to get some yards. And man, they got to do better, man. Just catch the ball because I think Lamar has definitely done a better job of finding a comfortable, comfortable way of just passing the ball. And, you know, trying to, you know, get his guy get the receivers more into the game. Like I mentioned in my other previous video back in the back before the regular season started. But yeah, we moving forward. With Teddy Bridgewater, man. Um, he's also a young quarterback. I know. I, I believe he's been with a few teams already. He had an up and down, um, you know, last three or two years. But this guy's on fire, man. He finally found a. He finally found a home for himself, and he's looking to um, outdoor, man. He, and once again, he's a, another two uh, two young quarterbacks, man. Lamar Jackson and Teddy Bridgewater. And uh, he's definitely like the, the main guy for the team right now. I'm happy for him. It's good to see another guy that's that that comes from so many that been through ups and downs, but always and but found the way to to uh, to humble himself and and then get your way back to the top. And that's what he did. He got, he got himself a, a starting quarterback position for the Denver Broncos. Definitely an upgrade from Drew Lott. But <laughs> definitely gonna watch out for this guy. Uh, he has some tricks up his sleeves, up, up his sleeves as well. So I know he's pretty Lamar. I know he's pretty sure he uh, knows Lamar player style of play. Not saying they're gonna go each other, but he's gonna bring something different when Lamar can do. So watch out for that. And the defense, man. I'm gonna end it with the defense right here. The defense has got to uh, just got to do a better job. I'm gonna start with the coverage for the secondary. All right, man. Get back that man, the man, man. I'm getting, I'm getting letting guys getting burnt up, man. And Marlon Humphrey, start celebrating like you really did, son. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. Right, man, you gotta get better at that man and man, bro. You get burnt up that man and man coverage. <laughs> you read the new Marcus Peters, man. I mean. I ain't trying to throw shit at me. He ain't got nothing to do with this, but you the new Marcus Peters. I, I used to throw Marcus Peters under the bus. Yeah, you the new Marcus Peters, bro. I'll make a video about you because you, we ain't, we ain't letting, we ain't letting it slide, man. We can't let that slide. You can't let guys get a touchdown and everything like that, man. But all jokes to the side, Marlon Humphrey. You gotta get better at that man and man, bro. We can't, you can't let those guys be getting them, them big first yard gains and everything like that. And um, that's about it, man. Tavon Young did a great job of sacking the quarterback. He came in more focused. He came prepared and. Um, Want to give the rest of the uh, guys credit. I mean, give everybody credit when it's due. Um, definitely want to uh, mention that. And uh, I want to also uh, mention the front seven. I think the front seven has to do a better job of getting to the quarterback. I understand that guys with, um, was a little slurry from last week's game. Um, I didn't I didn't hear anything from uh, Oduffy or Owa, whatever his name. I can't even pronounce his name. I'm 99. I didn't hear nothing from from this last week. I ain't seen him get a sack. I mean, he, he tried, but... It wasn't good enough, but uh, definitely want to give credit to the uh, defensive line. They tried their best to get into the quarterback. Definitely want to give credit to Calais Campbell for uh, for getting that uh, no yard. I think it was like on a late possession, you know. They, I think the, the Lions were trying to score, and uh, Calais Campbell got a, a no yard game. So definitely want to give uh, credit to Calais Campbell. He's a captain of that defense. He's a uh, he's a veteran, and I think he can uh, definitely uh, bring bring his veteran his um, his uh, experience to the table. And it's, and it's been great for the Baltimore Ravens so far. But yeah, I think the front seven's got to do a better job with just containing and letting not, not letting these running backs get no uh, rushing yard uh, games at all. But that's about it, you know. But um, I know the I know the NFL kind of plays the Baltimore Ravens defense like one of the not the best, and definitely not you know not the best defense in the league, not so far this year. But don't sleep on that run defense, please. Do not sleep on that run defense. I just think the uh, the secondary's got to get better. I, I, once they hopefully when they find a. Um, once they find a rhythm and uh, get things going for themselves, I think the Raiders can do a better job of just containing uh, man to man. So that's the main fool. They do a good job at zone coverage, but they can't. They just gotta get better at that man to man coverage. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. Um, I'll be back with uh, another video with you folks. Um, with the with the, um, I guess I'll do another story of my life part three, probably when I was a teenager and everything. So I'm definitely bringing different type of content to this channel and. Uh, I'm out with it, world peace. You folks will have a safe one. Stay, stay safe, stay blessed. I'm out with it, world.